What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. In today's video, I'm going to present you 10 tweaks that are very great, work for iOS 10.2 to 10.1.1 and are also free that you can get on your jailbroken device. And I'm going to start with the first one that we're going to see in effect in a couple of seconds right now. As you can see, it dimmed all my icons and the dock and it heightened the status bar, which is pretty damn cool. If I click anywhere on the device, it simply gets back to the life. But if I let again the device for a couple of seconds it will dim again. This tweak called Evanesco you can find out on Cydia with no additional repositories and you can also set it up. As you can see you have a couple of options in here. If you want you can uh, disable the hiding of the dock on, and also you can disable the hiding of the status bar. You can set up in here the seconds before fade. I'm going to let it to uh, let's say five to show you and you can uh, select the uh, dim alpha. For example if I put this uh, rocker in here you will see it's going to, to get hidden all my things on the screen. It will only leave the background. Three, two, one. There you go. And if you click, it will go back to life. Alrighty, the next trick is called Icon Bounce. And you can see already what it can do. On the dock, you have some icons usually four, if you don't have any tweak. And this tweak simply gets them and flips them around, move them around. It's an animation for these icons that you can set. So you can go here to settings. The uh, tweak is called Icon Bounce. You can get it from CDL with no additional repos. And you can set it, uh, you can set the animation, the ani if you want to animate the labels, of course I will, the bounce interval and the animation duration. For example, if I uh, if I feel, feel a little bit with these rockers, you're going to see that it changes the behavior. But I can also change the animation, for example, flip vertical, click save, and if you go back in here, it will, um, it will do the same thing to all the icons. The next one in uh, the line is actually a very useful one. This rocker in here will activate the power saver mode. If you click it, it will simply go in here. As you can see, the uh, power mode was activated, the power saving mode with the, um, the yellow battery. And if I go back in here, I can simply disable it without going to settings, battery enable, battery power, uh, low power mode. This is pretty damn useful and it's called CC low power. You can get it from Cydia, of course, and um, it's free and it's available without adding any uh, repositories. I'm going to show you how it's called. CC low power. This is the tweak, you can get it. Right, let's continue. Next on the list we have a pretty useful tweak. It's called Not Today 10. You can download it from a repo that I'm going to show you and it's available in the description. And what this tweak does after you install it, it's simply disabling the widgets on the iOS 10. As you can see, if I do this, I no longer have any widgets. It also disables the spotlight search if you drag uh, from up to down and also disables the widgets from the lock screen. In order to get it you need to go in Cydia and add this repo, uh, Danny Glover's repo with the address dannyglover.github.io slash repo and then simply search for uh, not today 10. This is the tweak. It's still in beta, but it works perfectly. Next on the line we have something for Safari and I think it's pretty pretty good. As you can see, I'm on my video in here on Safari and if I click on play, it will start the video. But then I have a new option in here, a new button to detach the video. Now I can exit the Safari and I can move this around and play the video, for example, like this. The video will continue to play in the background and I can do anything else. I can start the settings, I can, uh, I don't know, swipe to the apps, I can write a message and I can do anything I want and move it on the screen. I can resize it, I can move it, I can do whatever I want. So this is pretty great. You can see, you can resize it however you, you want. You can make it smaller. This is extremely useful if you have an iPhone 6 uh, Plus or an iPhone 6s Plus or bigger devices, but it is also useful when you want some kind of multitasking. Let's continue with the next one. So the next one will be a pretty useful uh, tweak for music. As you can see, it's this player right here. It's called Tiny Player Lite. It's the free version of Tiny Player Pro that is available on Cydia for free. You don't have to add any uh, repositories. And it brings you this uh, tiny player in here that I'm going to show you. If you open a song in it, I already did that. You can, um, I don't know, you can go ahead on the lock screen or anywhere you want and you will have these tiny controls. You can control your music. If you 
tap and hold the uh, player itself, it can change the color to white or black, depending on whatever you want it, as you can see. And if you hold the uh, control in here, the play button or the pause button, it will give you another control, which gives you the, um, the back, forward and play pause. Pretty useful and you can hide it, of course, if you press again on the, uh, on the blue button and it will go. The next one on the line is of course the um, the switcher flipper which is available in here. Normally you have this window starting from the, uh, the left with the names on the left but now it gives them on the right. It's exactly as you would look in a mirror and you can see it's pretty useful for some people. I personally like it more and you can download it, of course, from Cydia. This one is called Switcher Flipper and it's available again for free. So go ahead and download it. Next tweak is called Clear Dock and I think it's self-explanatory. As you can see, it simply hides the dock and makes the iPhone a little bit cleaner. If you look at it, with, without that dock, it simply is cleaner. You can go ahead in Cydia and download it. It's Clear Dock. It's pretty simple. The next one is rather more useful than a tweak, it's more a nap, and it's called iCleaner Pro, but you need to get it from CDI, you cannot get it normally from the App Store, and in order to get it, you need to add the following source. You go here, add the source, and the source is this one, ib-soft.net slash CDI. Then you search for iCleaner Pro, and if you open it, what this application does is clean, but it actually cleans, it doesn't do what the applications from the App Store do, pretend to clean. This one really cleans your device and can save up to a lot of space, especially if you have a 16 gigabit device and it fills up pretty quickly. As you can see, you can go from, I don't know, cache files, temporary files, log files, file type cleanup, you can do that. Uh, then unused dependencies, CDS sources, battery usage data, and so on, OTA software update, and any kind of applications. And you can also exclude applications in here in order to save them from getting cleaned. Pretty cool. So um, yeah, this is with this application, you can use it, uh, be very sure that you want to delete that file because once deleted you won't get them back for example the uh, message attachments or the safari uh, data but all in all it's a pretty cool thing everybody should have this application by no exception and the latest one last but not least is a tweak for the power mode <laughs> it had to be one for it right we, as you can see we have here the slide to power off thing and using this tweak called Power Tap, you can find it on Cydia with no other uh, repository. If you press or click that button, it changes into uh, slide to respring, slide to safe mode, slide to um, reboot and so on. So you just tap and change it on whatever action you want. So it's pretty cool, you can respring, you can reboot, you can go to safe mode. Let me explain a little bit of what safe mode is. Safe mode is actually a uh, function provided by Cydia and Mobile Substrate in order to actually um, put your phone in a safe mode where no tweaks run. So if your tweak, for example, you install the tweak and it no longer lets you open settings, it simply opens and closes. Then you can uh, go ahead into that safe mode and disable the tweaks then reboot the device and you can start debugging and fixing the problem. It's pretty damn useful. So this is basically it. This is by no mean a, um, an exclusive list. Tweaks can be added in this list f uh, up until tomorrow if you, if you want to, but I only chosen uh, 10 tweaks that you should install after jailbreak. Those are free. I'm going to also have a video with paid tweaks. Uh, paid tweaks are usually better, but anyways, those free tweaks are pretty damn good and pretty useful. This is it, this is my list, guys, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated for more videos, and till the next time, tell me in the comment section down below what is your favorite tweak, and if I didn't include it here, I'm going to keep it in mind.